Hi friends, I am Sajjatan and welcome to Sajjatan Guru. In this video, I am going to explain the game space or game turbo application in the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So which is also present in the previous mobile uh, Redmi K20 Pro guys, as you can see here. Game speed booster. So let me uh, open the game speed booster in the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So which you can find in the security application if you don't get any shortcut here. So let me uh, show you how to do that. So just uh, open the security application. So you can find the game speed uh, booster. There is no uh, separate application for that. So you need to go to the security app for that. And you, here you can find all the apps here. And when you click uh, settings, you'll get a lot of uh, customized settings which you can uh, choose for individual games as well. So if you want to do that, you need to go to the additional uh, settings here. So right now I'm using the Redmi uh, Note 8 Pro version as you can see here. So um, if you tap the PUBG game, so you will get uh, three different uh, modes. So where you can change the touch responsive and sensitivity and touch uh, resistant area, the sideways. But you won't get any um, changing in the colors which you find in the Redmi uh, Note K20 Pro. So let me uh, show you guys what's the difference between the both um, Redmi Note 8 Pro versus uh, K20 Pro. In the K20 Pro and K20 you get uh, this kind of um, extra option. So let me open the PUBG mobile game here. So you get the three different um, as the same in the Redmi Note 8 Pro. And if you scroll down, you also get the enhanced uh, visual modes as you can see here. So if you uh, choose to the extreme, uh, then there'll be high in the saturation colors. So you can see the huge difference right now here from moderate to strong to extreme as you can see here. So which uh, you can add even the MX player and a lot of um, other applications as well, Netflix and Amazon Prime. So where do you get uh, high saturated colors if you're using this kind of um, trick here? So where in the Redmi Note 8 Pro you don't get any that kind of um, enhancement modes as you can see here. So you only get uh, three different options, that's it. So not like the K20 and K20 Pro here. So that's the difference between the both the uh, phones. So apart from that, uh, remaining all the options are same in the both the phones. So only the screen enhancement is not present in the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So right now. So let me open the all the apps interface. So uh, these are how uh, you get all the apps uh, together guys, all the game applications side by side to each other. So very soon I'll be uh, doing the PUBG uh, gameplay test as well in the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Battery draining from under percentage to the zero percentage. So by using this uh, speed uh, booster enabled, you get this kind of uh, sidebar on the top left corner. So when you swipe, uh, you get the exact uh, frame rates on the top here for each game. As you can see right now it's uh, 41 FPS. So from here you can even uh, record the screen recording as well directly from here. So very soon I'll be uh, posting the screen recording of the PUBG gameplay in the Redmi on Note 8 Pro. So stay tuned guys for that. So uh, this is the biggest advantage uh, for the Redmi Mi phone guys that you can see the live uh, FPS counter on the top of that. Each game as you can see here clearly. So no need to install any other application. So just uh, these are inbuilt in the Redmi phones. So uh, that's it guys, this is a quick uh, review on the game booster and game turbo application in the Redmi Note 8 Pro and what are the changes when compared with the Redmi K20 Pro which I noticed uh, in the Note 8 Pro. So uh, if you want to know more about the Redmi Note 8 Pro, subscribe to my channel guys for more interesting and comparison videos which I'll be doing a uh, lot of them with the, compared with the Honor 9X device as well in terms of gaming, uh, camera and display. So that's it guys for this video. See you in the next video. Until then stay tuned guys for my channel. Bye.